So this is the whole kidney model on the three-part kidney uh, model for Bio 158. So first off is the renal capsule, and that's this brown area here. That is the renal capsule. Essentially, kind of the opening of the kidney is called the helis. So this right here is the helis, and we see three structures going through the helis. One of those is the ureter here. We're also seeing this is the renal artery, and then the blue structure below that is the renal vein. So ureter, renal artery in red, renal vein in blue. We look at the kidney, we have essentially two layers here. We have this layer here between my fingers, and that layer there is called the cortex. So that is the cortex. This layer here between my fingers there, that is the medulla. So this is cortex region, this is the medulla region. Within the medulla, we're seeing these structures here. Each one of those structures is called a pyramid. So that's a renal pyramid. So this is the renal medulla. Each one of these is a renal pyramid. At the end of each of the pyramids is these little bumps. And those little bumps there are called the renal papillae. So that's the renal papillae. Where the ureter comes into the kidney, it kind of enlarges in this area here. In this area where it enlarges is called the renal pelvis. So that is the renal pelvis. The pelvis branches off. So we see here and here, and now over here and over here. And each one of those smaller tubes is known as a calyx. Calyces is plural, calyx is singular. So calyx, calyx. The space that's within the kidney, so this area here, this area here, is known as the renal sinus. If we were to remove all these tubes and blood vessels, we would have a cavity in there, in the kidney, and that's what the renal sinus is. Back into the medulla, in between the pyramids here, we're seeing some tissue right here, and that is known as the renal column. So that is a renal column there. You see a little bit of one here and there. So those are renal columns. Moving on to blood vessels now. These blood vessels here that are found between the pyramids are the interlobar blood vessels. So the red is the interlobar artery. The blue is the interlobar vein. So red is the interlobar artery. The blue is the interlobar vein. Coming up here, this is a pyramid here, and you're seeing that these blood vessels are above the pyramid. So as I like to say, they arc over the pyramid. So the red is the arcuate artery, the blue is the arcuate vein. So they are between the pyramids and the cortex. So arcuate artery, arcuate vein. The blood vessels that are found out here in the cortex are the interlobular. So the red one is the interlobular artery, the blue one is the interlobular vein. Interlobular artery, interlobular vein.